Greetings and salutations, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, bringing you another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. I will start this video with a trip to the dirtiest place in San Andreas. Then I will continue with the walkthrough of the next to last mission of San Andreas. This video will be a bit long because. The next to last mission is a bit difficult. I will explain during the video and show some failures at the end. But first, the dirtiest place in San Andreas. Dirtiest place in San Andreas, the Big Spread Ranch. And what is this, you might ask? Could they actually have a brothel hidden in San Andreas? Not with all that hot coffee, but what is it? A strip club. And it's probably the dorkiest strip club on the planet. With a bunch of guys who are dressed the same and won't let you walk around. There's, oh, there's one of the scantily clad strippers-ish, sort of. And then you got the stripper on stage who's fully clothed. And after making it rain, yeah, okay, she's still fully clothed. And make it rain again, I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, this is the lamest strip club I have ever seen. And, well, I can understand they don't want to get anything like an X rating or a mature rating. But, hey, let's go do a lap dance right here, huh? Private dance. For a hundred bucks, ah, make it rain again. Um, trying to do this private dance. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, a private dance. She's still fully clothed. Yeah, lame strip club. And this is the dirtiest place in San Andreas, folks. Um, my version has the hot coffee stuff. Removed. Uh, if you ever remember that controversy, look it up. Not that big of a deal. So let's get out of this lame ass strip club and the big spread ranch. Ooh. Let's get on with the walkthrough for the main mission that I'm doing Los Desperados. Yeah, so get the place locked down. No one's gonna ruin the hood. You hear me? No one. All right, see. What up? We almost got the hood under control, man. CJ, this is some serious shit, man. Hey, man, I know, man. I went through a lot of shit for this family since you've been gone, so I know. What? For yourself, not for the family. Don't get shit confused, nigga. Man, when you gonna give me a break? When you stop acting like you the man. You keep yapping on what you done did, let me tell you what I done did. When Kendall needed shoes, I went out and got the money. When moms needed operation, I robbed people for the bread. Why you off in Liberty City thinking about your own shit? For five years, come on, man. Now you do something you want to fucking pray? Nigga, please. That ain't fair, man. Carl! Man, I need your help. Man, I'm kind of busy right now. Family shit. I helped you guys, hombre. It's time you helped me and my homies. My hood screwed up, too. We got this shitty neighborhood on lockdown now. All right, what you need? It's time to get my old gang back together. Push out those yay slanging punks, eh? I know, but I got a lot going on right here in my own hood, man. And I made my brother a promise. All your brother wants you to do is pay back your debt, CJ. All right, I hear you. I got your back. Come on, let's roll. Orale, the video's coming back. Okay, so what's the plan? We're gonna meet three of my veteranos over at Unity Station. Three? Is that all? All right, I'm gonna get a couple of family boys to come through too. Recruiting family members can be a little wonky because, hey, a riot is going on and people are trying to beat you up or steal from you or just shoot you. And in order to get a family member, you have to point at them. You don't have to have a weapon, but you have to 
point at them and click on them, lock on them, and you got to find them first, like this group of guys hanging around right now. You just click and you hit the D-pad to recruit them, and then click and hit the D-pad and recruit this guy. You only need two members, so once you get back, or once you get the two members, well, then you can wind up um, going back to the car and getting in the car. It might have been a better idea to steal the car first and find a couple of members. Oh, now look, there's two of them in the neighborhood, and they're fighting some dude in the riot. But this can be where things go really bad. And I'm going to let you hear the um, conversation between CJ and Cesar. Brothers, you and me, you can ask me anything. Okay, here goes. I want to ask Kendall the question. What's the problem? Call her, dude. Here, use my phone. No, Holmes, the question. What? Oh, shit, you mean, pop the question? Well, I'm okay with that. You know, I appreciate you asking my permission and shit, but... Nah, I know you're cool, Holmes, but it's sweet, man. He's the problem. Can you talk to him? Sure thing, Cesar. I'll talk to him. Thanks, CJ. That means a lot to me, Holmes. So Cesar wants to marry Kendall. Now, your drive to the station can be kind of a pain with exploding cars and motorcycles and other things. It can be problematic. Now, you can stop and walk, or you can just drive into the circle to activate the cut scene like I did. Those vagos, man, I'm going to cut those cacos. Raspalo hasta el hueso. Hey, carnales, what's cracking, Holmes? Cesar, and you must be CJ. Cesar says you cool, so we cool, Holmes. Okay, check it out. We're gonna have to work our way through this neighborhood to get to my house. If we stick together, those vagos pendejos won't stand a chance. Watch each other's backs, amigos. Hasta la muerte! Hasta, Hasta la, la muerte! muerte! Yo, give me some love, homie. This is where having the AK or the M4 and lots of ammunition comes in handy. You don't want to go in. You just want to see the red blips. You want to be very, very, how shall I say, careful. And you take these guys down and you sneak around and you want to keep as much body armor and health as possible because this is where things can fail. And you also want to let Cesar sort of lead and your homies kind of go with. A guy bought a knife to a gunfight. Did you see that? That's not too cool. But now you want to creep around the corner and you want to take down the Vagos, the guys with the yellow scarves, and just gun them down. Again, the AK is the best weapon. And I'm saying the AK because they it has firepower and they only use these little um like machine guns and a guy with sword. Great. Gotta have a lot of confidence in these guys. They're genius. One brings a knife and one brings a sword. Now, you shoot these, the bad guys, and again, the AK or the M4, but the AK, since you will be in CJ's house, and the AK, if you've done all the tagging, will give you the best firepower, and you're kind of far away for the M4, which if you did all the um, horseshoes, is over in Las Venturas. I'm going to let this play out, and you can see, you just got to keep your distance and use the AK's firepower. Send them ducats over here. Should've stayed at What y'all waiting for?
That's the last of them. Let's move out. Now you want to head to the alley, but don't run through the fire. Run around here, and you can see the alley location in the upper left area. You can see the red, basically, um, whatever you want to call it, halo you got to walk into. And then the next part of the mission begins. That was the easy bit, eh? Now we're going to the Viper's Nest. This is where it gets tough. Luckily, we have a little surprise up our sleeves. Eh, Sonny? That's a rocket launcher, man. We'll bring the National Guard down on us. Look around you, CJ. The whole city is a war zone. Come on, I want to take my house back. Again, the AK is good for keeping your distance, but they got the guy with sword who runs in there to try and kill people with a sword. And, oops, you shot him. You lose all of the gang members, the game ends. You can lose your gang members, but you have to have at least one guy with Cesar's group alive in order to move on. Otherwise, it ends. And these guys are, again, not too bright. The AI is not doing real well. Your own gang member is in your way, and once you get the Vagos done, something new starts. Shit, Hazer! He's pretty bad! Caesar! Watch at them! More Vagos! They're coming over the walls! Taking cover in the garage is a good idea if you need to boost your health up. Now's a good time, but step out of the garage, take down the Vagos, and use the wall as a bit of a cover and then the other guys once you shoot these guys you got to turn around and again keep your distance but you don't want to shoot the other guy who keeps using the rocket launcher but this is an easy part you take down these two guys and you can move on to the next mission let's fucking finish this i'm with you man let's take these punks Vagos rule this barrio now! Aztecas are no more! Burn them! Again, the AK is awesome. You can just keep your distance, and the guy with the flamethrower is no big deal. You shoot the guy on the roof, and then you take down the flamethrower, dude. And all is good. Alright, that's the last of them. How's Hazer? We need to get him to a hospital! Hey, I'll take CJ, you've done more than enough, Holmes. You should get back to the Grove. All right, S.A. I'll see you after all this is settled down. Thanks, CJ, and good luck, my friend. This is a good time to mention, if you haven't bought the safe house at the end of the road in Cesar's neighborhood, now would be a good time to buy it. You don't have to go through the entire riot. And you can save and... Then move on. Oh, phone call. What up, bro? CJ, I've been thinking. The city's big, but it ain't that big. Some fools know where smoke's hiding. But as long as the grocery families don't rule the streets, his money's gonna mean more than our rent. What you got in mind? We gotta hit those bombs and bargains with everything. Hit what every neighborhood they got. That's the only way. I'm down for that. I'm gonna see what I can find out on the streets. Big love, bro. Much love, bro. That phone call means is. You're going to have to fight the gang wars and conquer all the purple territories in order to get the big smoke. I got a link to a video about the gang wars up in the upper right hand corner. Now I'm going to flip to the failures so that you can enjoy them. Here are some of my failures. As I said, trying to recruit gang members is difficult. And if you run out and you have a weapon in your hand, well, some bad stuff can happen. And, up, oh, I just beat this guy up. And get in a fight and, well, hey, what's this lady doing? Things are about to get sassy here. It's the best you got. Get out the road, punk. Dummy! Ah! 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 Ah!
odds are has gotten in a gunfight with my gang members and they're shooting at me because I'm Cesar's what ally. This yeah. This is going south real quick. You got one guy with a machine gun. Let's see if I try and recruit some other guys. Ooh. Yeah. Again, it's getting messy. This guy doesn't care. He's shooting at Cesar. And I gotta see if I can recruit some gang members. Don't recruit gang members with a gun in your hand because it ain't gonna turn out well. Grove Street, man, keeping it real. Hey, raise up, Mark. Oh, Give a homie something to drink. <laughs> Take that paper. You wanna roll with me? Yo, how deep are we? Get my back, dude, get my back! Another problem is too many gang members, and you can't get rid of them. And what happens when you have too many gang members? Well, now they sit around with Cesar and are not really good for much of anything. So I'm going to get some body armor and move on to the next situation here where there was a problem. Get the right amount of gang members, but now, for some reason, things aren't working out here. Everyone's getting in the car, and then this woman punches me and pulls me out. What the hell? And Cesar's trying to have a nice conversation with me. And I gotta fight this woman. Again, oh, sorry, hit the gang members. Now let's get rolling and see what happens. Um, this woman keeps pulling me out. What the hell? Hey. <laughs> yeah, okay. And one of my gang members has run down the street. This is not working out real well. But hey, let's continue on with this nice conversation with Cesar. And let's see what other problems I can overcome here. Got plenty of gang members there. This one's chasing a drug dealer. Nope, he's running away. And he's not getting in the damn car. Well... I guess I'm just going to have to deal with this guy. There. Now i got to recruit some more gang members. You have to have two. And now i got to drive around and get more gang members? What the hell? Hey, there's this guy. Hey, homie, come on. Let's recruit this guy. And again, he's getting in a fight with someone. Yeah. Um. Uh, God, I don't want to shoot this dude. I want to shoot the dude he's getting in a fight with. And, yeah. Again, this is a pain in the ass. I shoot that guy, and I get this guy. I hit Caesar. Yeah, this is turning into a real mess. Let's just get on with the failure. Now, a case where too many gang members have been recruited. And after I get these guys recruited, um, they're just going to stand around with Cesar. And I'm just going to blow all these civilians away. And now I'm going to recruit these gang members. I think I got them all recruited. Hey, join me. And I got these guys, but I got too many. And now I get in the car, and no one's joining me. What the hell? Come on, guys. Get in the car. I got you. Jump in. Everyone can squeeze in the back seat. Come on. There's like four guys plus Cesar. They can fit in right on the hood. Come on. Let's get in the car here. Uh, yeah. And now I can't unrecruit them. I'm trying to, but they're just all standing there. This is getting to be a real problem. And, you know... I can just turn around here and try and whittle the gang members down. Get out. Come on. 
they won't unrecruit. And every time I try and point at them, I end up locking on to civilians. This is going to suck. Come on, guys. Come on. Get in the car. Just get in the car. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, uh, just, yeah. Can't lock on to them. And they're all standing there. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to have a solution here. Everyone, please get into the car. I can't unrecruit them. I'm just going to run them over. There. That's my solution. I'm going to run over enough gang members. Now there's just two in Cesar, and they're not getting into the car. What the hell? Yeah. Things are not going good, so... And one guy goes running off. This is just... Uh, come on, everyone. Just... That's it. I'm done with this. And... Failure! Woohoo! This story, watch out for flaming motorcycles. Don't kill your own gang members in this one. I don't give a fuck, fool! Well, viewers, hey, I did fail a couple times, and it was a real pain in the ass because the riot makes it difficult to really recruit people. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. Clock, clock. Slow How down, can I cowboy. serve you? Only 10% guano.